A very commonly used measure of a company's liquidity is called working capital. And working capital is nothing more than the difference between a company's current assets and its current liabilities. If you were to convert all of your current assets into cash and sell them uh, and take them and pay off all of your current liabilities, what is left over? Obviously, this is going to be a dollar amount that's taken from the balance sheet. And it's a quick, easy way to assess a company's liquidity. But the downside to it is that um, it's difficult to compare companies of different sizes. Obviously, um, all else equal, a larger company is going to have a much larger working capital, which doesn't necessarily tell you that it's in better financial shape. So similar to what we did last class, where we looked at these financial ratios, and by the way, inventory turnover and accounts receivable turnover, while they're sometimes called profitability measures, they're also often used as liquidity measures because your accounts receivable, you're turning into cash, and that inventory turnover, obviously, the faster you sell your inventory, the sooner you're eventually going to get your cash from the sale. Uh, we looked at several different metrics of profitability profitability, we're going to look at just a couple metrics of um, liquidity using ratio analysis. The first one is called the current ratio. And that's similar. It includes current assets and current liabilities, similar to working capital, but it's a ratio. So we're going to compare current assets to current liabilities. How many times greater are your current assets than your current liabilities? Obviously, if the number is less than one, it's going to mean that your current liabilities are greater than your current assets. So this allows us to compare the liquidity of different size companies, which is good. But remember, at the end of the day, you can't pay a bill with a ratio. You can only pay it with actual cash, and that's where something like the working capital comes in. So similar to how we compared our metrics for three different companies last class, we're going to do the same thing this class. We're going to compare for the same three companies. We're going to look at the metrics for Walmart, Costco, and we're going to add in Target. Uh, let's start with the dollar amount of working capital before we get into the ratios. Working capital, again, that's equivalent to the current assets minus the current liabilities. So we're going to go into Walmart's balance sheet. I have the current assets for Walmart of 76877. From that, I'm going to subtract out Walmart's total current liabilities of 92415. So clearly, we're going to get a negative number. Walmart's working capital is a negative. 15538. Now, I'm not ready to say that Walmart's in trouble and not going to be able to pay its bills. I'm going to do more thorough analysis. And importantly, I'm going to compare it to its competitors to see what's happening with the competitors. So if I look at Costco's current assets, 35879. Subtract from that current liabilities of 33583. And we're going to get Working capital of Costco of 2296. Now, for uh, all three of our companies, these dollar amounts are in millions. So this would be $2.3 billion of working capital. And finally, for Target, their balance sheet, we have total current assets, 17498 and we're going to subtract out current liabilities, 19,304. Again, we get a negative amount, negative 1,806. And let's look at the current ratios for each of these companies. For Walmart, we're going to take current assets of 76,877, divide that by the current liabilities of 92,415. And we're going to get for Walmart a current ratio of 
because oftentimes our current assets are greater than our current liabilities and the output is going to be one we're not going to state this in a percentage we're not going to call this 83 percent of course that could be a way to use this number, but because the numbers, the output is generally greater than one, we're going to say it as a number of times, or just read the number out. We're going to say the current ratio is 0.83. For Costco, the ratio is 1.07. So current assets are 1.07 times greater than the current liabilities. And for Target, this works out to be 0.91. So what we see here is Costco has the highest working capital dollar amount of course, the highest current ratio. And a more stringent test than the current ratio is called the quick ratio. So remember the current assets, when we talk about the current ratio, we're saying cash, marketable securities, uh, accounts receivable, inventory, prepaid assets, right? Everything we saw on our balance sheet here it's going to go into that numerator and everything we saw in the current liabilities goes into the denominator even our one liability that is not paid in cash so a more stringent test than the current ratio is called the quick ratio And the rationale for the quick ratio is that well, we can't force inventory to be sold and we're not going to get cash from our prepaid, prepaid expenses or things like supplies. The quick ratio says what is going to become cash. We have a little bit more control over, although with the receivables, we still are waiting for our customers. But those items that are going to rather quickly be turned into cash. The quick ratio is also called the acid test. I mean the exact same thing. And this is going to be equal to cash, short-term investments or marketable securities, and accounts receivable. How do they compare to current liabilities? And because this is a more stringent test, keep in mind that the quick ratio will always be lower than your current ratio because our numerator is always going to be smaller in the quick ratio compared to the current ratio. All right, so what will these numbers look like for each of our three companies? For Walmart, we have cash, receivables, and that's it on our numerator is just going to be 9867 plus 8796, and it's going to be divided by the same denominator we've been using, total current liabilities, 92415. And that's going to work out to be for our quick ratio. Point two zero. For Costco, we have cash 13.7, short-term investments 1.53, and receivables 2.285. Divide that by a total liabilities of 33583, and that's going to give us the quick ratio of 0.52. For Target, let's look at what they have in their current assets. We have just simply cash 3805. No marketable securities, no accounts receivable listed out independently. Maybe if there are any receivables, they'd be lumped together in this other current assets. And we're going to divide our cash and equivalents by our total current liability is 19,304. And we're going to get a quick ratio that's exactly the same as that of Walmart, 0 0.20. So we see on all measures, we have Costco being the most liquid company here.